track and wire sitting right here to the branch line can only mean one thing. G'day guys, welcome back to Layla Central. My name is Clinton, your average modeler, and today we're gonna to be working on some track work for the branch line. Now, as you may be able to possibly tell um, by my voice, I've actually come down with a cold now. So um, I'm not gonna be doing too much talking in this video, um, but I will record what I'm going to be doing here with the track line, and I'll hand it over to myself, which will do some narration as well. So hope you enjoy, guys, and Okay, now here's just a selection of the items on what I'm using with my soldering. So first, of course, some eye protection, some helping hands that will assist, obviously, your solder. Now I also use some flux, some wire strippers, soldering iron uh, cleaning uh, pad, as well as the soldering iron itself. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm just stripping a bit of the uh, insulation back on the actual wires uh, themselves. Now these wires here are my droppers that I'm going to be using to my track. So I've exposed probably about five millimeters of the wire itself. Now I'll put it in my fingers as you can see there and give it a twirl. And uh, once this gets into focus, you'll see what it's done. Now what it does is it just creates it a bit more stronger um, connection essentially with those wires themselves. Keeps them all together, doesn't get, uh, you don't get any stray wires that stick out then as well. So I'll put that all together. Now once I've done that, as you can see, I'll give it a bit of a, a small dunk into my uh, flux that I'm using there. And then I'll attach it to my helping hands just in these claws uh, right here. So again, all I'm doing is just dipping it in a little bit and putting it in here. Now the purpose of flux um, just enables essentially the solder to flow a lot more easily and freely into the wire itself, uh, creating a very good solid bond with the uh, metal. So here now what I'm doing as you'll notice is I'm actually heating uh, or burning off that um, flux to begin with underneath the wire and then once that's done I then quickly add my uh, solder uh, to the top so it's melting into the wire rather than melting onto the soldering iron then go into the wire it's going flowing directly straight into the wire itself and uh, and of course you don't want to uh, breathe this in um, all you want to do is just you know what, as you can see what I was doing giving it a bit of a breathe across now one of the things you'll notice also with these claws just be careful because sometimes um, once this gets into focus you'll actually see the two teeth marks that go in my wire right there so you know if your helping hand does have very strong alligator clips uh, clips you may want to use uh, you know something to pat it down a little bit whether it be some foam um, just so that it doesn't wreck or bite into your wire too strong. Um, so now here I've got my piece of flex track here. Now what I've done uh, before this is I've cut out two of my sleepers uh, so I can put my feeders underneath the rails themselves. Now here I'm just using a small amount of flux on those rails. Same procedure again really with the wires. I'll just add a bit of flux here to help the uh, flow of the solder. Um, and essentially what we're doing here is um, giving it, it's all prep work really. Okay, once we're ready, again, what I'll do here is I'll burn off that uh, the the, uh, the flux and then add just right next to the soldering iron uh, with my bit of solder there, uh, melt it directly onto the actual surface so it creates a nice bond. So you could think of this as another form of tinning, uh, really. And uh, as you'll see, once I attach my feeders, it saves a bit of work as well. Okay, now that that's done, I'll show you closely. So there you go, there's my two little bits of uh, solder there, ready to go. And um, yeah, then we'll start prepping some of those feeders. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna grab um, the bit of pliers or essentially the end of my wire strippers there. Now what I've done is I've bent the wire uh, that we just uh, tinned, tinned before to essentially like a 90 degree angle and uh, and that's what will make contact with the um, the underside of the rail of my flex track as well and uh, once it's in it hides uh, the feeders completely um, you know once you put your track onto your layout. Now here I've um, 
unfortunately I didn't realize how bad the camera zoom was here um, so all I'm doing here otherwise is I'm just uh, you know heating up the area and then uh, pressing my feeder wire into that bit of track as you can see there and uh, now it's on solidly now in a second I'll change the view so you can see a better look at what I do Okay, here we are. So there's my feeder there. Just uh, heat <coughs> the area up using my soldering iron. Just the surface a little bit. There we go. And it's already attached. Now the way, good way to tell if you've got a very good uh, strong bond with your solder is, you know, I just give it a quick little yank on there. You know, that's on very, very tight. So it's done the uh, job quite well. Now I'll do the uh, rest of my feeders here.
So there we have it guys, finally got the track in for the branch line as well as the cement plant and as you can tell it's uh, testing very well. You'll have to excuse obviously the use of the uh, GWR pannier tank, I unfortunately don't have a suitable locomotive for this area, uh, in desperate need of a of a shunter um, of some sort really and uh, and of course I don't really have much in the way of rolling stock that's uh, suitable here apart from maybe some uh, vent vans um, big need of um, some uh, like press flow uh, wagons and just other stuff so at least you know when I run things through here it's going to look a little bit more suitable but um, but at this stage you know looking at all the track work all the uh, the sidings themselves they're all working quite well I've now chucked in a couple of uh, the, uh, the old Pico uh, buffer stops as well, so a few of those as well. And um, also the only thing left to go is I do need to uh, still install a bit of track underlay for here and this turnout, of course. So my uh, shunters have essentially a small depot right here. Um, so it's going to look uh, quite good. So two shunters uh, sitting amongst here. Um, I am thinking possibly a steam and a diesel, so potentially a packet. Um, as for the diesel, not too sure. Um, I've got to look into the history, of course, and see what will be running in my time period. Uh, the runaround loop over here. So, as mentioned initially, I was going to just put in um, just a straight through single line going right through, and that was it. However, uh, one person commented on my channel uh, last time I discussed my plans, which I think it was in my monthly uh, update uh, for last month. Someone suggested, you know, a push-pull service would look beautiful right here. And you know what? I agreed 100%. So this, uh, the outer line right here, for example, uh, right here, is more than capable of holding two coaches plus a train. Um, and with the runaround loop, I think that's going to work quite well. So you can imagine, uh, you know, a bit of a station right here. Um, that's semi-used, disused, not too sure. Um, you know, right here, the runaround loop. So if a cement train comes in, it might run around the actual station if there's something in its way here. Um, who knows, but um, yeah, we'll have a fiddle with that. Um, I am thinking right here where this single track is, I might put in uh, a small railroad uh, crossing as well and um, have just in short a little bit of um, maybe an entry to the cement plant. Not sure, we'll elaborate on that later. And obviously some entry somewhere around here to get to the uh, Shunters Depot right here. But we'll wait and see, that'll all come up in a new future update. So there we go guys, finally got the track work in for the cement plant. Very happy with how it's working. And um, there we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, thanks for watching and staying tuned. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And uh, also, you know, I do welcome your comments and uh, likes. So feel free to punch away and uh, we will keep in touch soon. Take care now guys. Thanks for watching. Be good.